Many modern cars are more than two metres wide and the typical parking space is only around 30 centimetres wider. When the neighbouring car is very large and not centrally parked, people at Hempstead Valley told me they had little choice but to park over the white lines. People complain it's unfair to find them when it was the previous driver that left them with no space. However, other drivers said they were glad rules were now being firmly enforced. It annoys me when you arrive at the shopping centre and the parking is limited anyway because of all the work that's going on at the moment and you've got massive cars over reaching the, the white lines, which is annoying because they take up more than one space. Hampstead Valley said some of the parking bays are seen as small and narrow. However, this is not the case for every single space that the centre offers. There are multiple car parking areas for visitors, meaning if you find yourself struggling to park within the lines in a bay, it would be best to find another space in which you can park comfortably. Customers will find wider bays to the rear of the red car park in both the underground and multi-storey car parks, and these also have the advantage of being undercover. Hempstead Valley said that with the same amount of space at the centre, any increase in the size of parking spaces would lead to reduction in the number of spaces. Many cars produced in this day and age are much bigger than those made when Hempstead Valley was built. Most of the external parking spaces are a standard size of 2.5 metres by 5 metres and remain in the same layout as put down in 1978, still being used on new parking developments. If we do ever have the opportunity to widen the spaces in some car parks, we would certainly be happy to do this in the future. Until then, for some spaces, only supermodels should attempt to get in and out of a very small car. Sandy Fleming for Raynham News.